My first question is, uh, were you surprised or were you shocked by what you saw on Friday night, the crackdown on the peaceful unarmed protester at the Batumban intersection? Uh, uh, to, to, to answer whether I was uh, surprised, uh, I, actually, uh, there, there were uh, certain tendencies mm. that the government or the authorities would be uh, inflicted uh, some violence mm. against uh, the protesters. Uh, but I didn't. But you were not so to not totally surprised. Uh, not totally mm -hmm. surprised, but uh, I still didn't believe mm -hmm. that they would have that they would have done that yeah. that early mm -hmm. and in such a circumstance. Mm -hmm. Of course, like uh, uh, following the situation on the night uh, of the 14, uh, continuing to the early morning of the 15. Of course, like uh, uh, it was very surprising to to me that uh, 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 they announced. Uh, the, the force, uh, the, the enforce of the, uh, the emergency decree. Uh, that that was uh, pretty surprised uh, because the thing is like the situation was not uh, was not uh, called emergency, and then uh, uh, referring back to to that that day that they suppressed uh, the demonstrators uh, at four o'clock uh, when the protesters already announced that there will be this solve at five o'clock. Yeah. So then I, I don't see like uh, what any uh, what, what could be the justification for that. If, uh, if, if you have to guess, what do you think drove the government to impose such draconian measures against the protesters? Uh, the thing is like uh, 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 if we trace back before uh, the incident on, on the night of the uh, uh, Friday night mm -hmm. or the uh, October 16, uh, we have to realize that uh, uh, the, the Prime Minister was uh, uh, telling us to uh, study about the, 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 the drama mm -hmm. and try to uh, address some issues and of course like a uh, warning about like uh, the, the, the lot of death you know mm, yeah. and that's that was very aggressively addressed by a person who calls a Prime Minister because a Prime Minister should not uh, send any message just like that yeah. and addressing such an issue, uh, uh, makes us feel uh, the, the smell of uh, uh, anchors mm. and, of course, like the, the uh, possibility of the violence. But of course, to to exercise such the violence, and then uh, the the next day, uh, the police department came out and trying to justify their action as a, as a law enforcement, mm -hmm. and then uh, trying to claim uh, that they are related to the international mm. standard. Mm. And of course, that's that's totally. Uh, out of uh, justification at all, <laughs> you know, like, uh, of course, because, uh, to announce uh, the use of the emergency decree is already uh, out of question. Mm. And try to enforce uh, an unjustified law mm. is already even worse. And trying to uh, uh, justify the unjustified law by uh, after the use of force, mm. uh, which is not necessary force, is even worse. So then uh, uh, we can see that uh, there are these consequences uh, makes uh, the authorities uh, pretty in a very bad spot right mm -hmm. now. And of course, like uh, we can claim that uh, they are violating uh, a lot of uh, human rights principles. And on social media, many people condemned the government for using water cannons and using violence against the protesters. What are your thoughts on this? I, I, did, I did condemn by uh, condemn the government by the, by myself as well, <laughs> because not nothing else to say. Uh, the thing is, like uh, they were trying to justify that this is the international standard, mm. uh, but I have to address, uh, I have to mention that uh, the thing is like uh, this international standard that they mentioned about is totally different uh, than what they're trying to mean. Mm. The thing is like uh, the way to use a water cannon and, and you know like a, uh, this is what we call the anti-riot, uh, right. not the uh, not the anti the demonstrate peaceful demonstration. Yeah. So then, of course, like you can see that in many uh, other countries, they have uh, utilized this. I mean, in many democratic countries, right. uh, they have been using this. Of course, like uh, when the situation of demonstration reached to the stage of the riot. Mm. Uh, but uh, here, uh, it was a peaceful demonstration. Right, yeah. all, all the kids uh, mm. were sitting down uh, yeah. very peacefully and ch chanting uh, what they want to say. But 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 uh, it's. 
actually called the peaceful demonstration. But and when you just mentioned international, when you said international standards, at what point it's considered suitable to use water cannons and all these things if it's not the protest that we've seen on Friday? Uh, uh, we, we, have, we have seen uh, very often uh, in, uh, in our international news that, uh, of course, when the people break into uh, uh, private properties or the government properties and, and you know, like uh, 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 threatening to harm uh, uh, lives of people, of course, that, that's yeah. a kind of riot. Yeah. And right. this is totally far away from that point. Yeah. But do you think the government uh, has painted itself into a corner? by in imposing state of, of emergency. Because once mm -hmm. you have this draconian tool in your <coughs> hands, you're, yeah. you're forced to enforce it, right? <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's the thing. Because, like, uh, uh, of course, like in, in the eyes of the authoritarian mm -hmm. authorities, uh, mostly they, they don't feel, or they don't, uh, they don't get used to reducing any other means of mm -hmm. mechanisms. Mm -hmm. Of course, even they were trying to use the legal instruments but the, the way that they use the, instru uh, uh, the legal instruments also not uh, on the basis of justice, yeah. but on, on the basis of enforcing it into the opponents. Yeah. So this is the difference between enforcing the law uh, as, a, as a kind of legal instrument in order to use uh, the violence uh, instruments. But it's obvious that the use of force had, has not in any way deterred the protester, right? <laughs> We have been seeing more and more rallies, um, drawing more and more people. So what do you think will happen next? It, will it continue to be like this? And now, now the, the things we are seeing fits the definition of a flash mob now, right? Mm -hmm. People come and go, making their voices heard, and then yeah. the, I mean, arranging the, the rallies through social media. And mm -hmm. something that the, maybe the authorities are not familiar with. <laughs> uh, that, uh, the, the thing is, like uh, when we talk about the peaceful movement, yeah. uh, we can... Uh, we, we, uh, of course, like apart from uh, avoiding all sources of the violence, mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, one thing is very necessary is the creativity. Mm -hmm. And then I uh, admire uh, these the demonstrators very much that uh, they are very creative. Mm -hmm. uh, in each day, uh, there are something new, something very surprising, and something very, you know, like a, uh, it, actually it, it draws more uh, uh, symp uh, sympathetic feelings yeah. uh, into the public and, and, and I really uh, think that this is the way that uh, uh, the government uh, uh, never thought about mm -hmm. and of course like uh, uh, once they announced the emergency decree I personally uh, try to talk to some of the our media friends that uh, uh, I never see, have never seen uh, any of the past government uh, facing the demonstration and utilize the state of emergency and it uh, de deter uh, mm -hmm. the willing yeah. of the participation uh, of particip uh, of the protesters mm -hmm. who want to participate mm -hmm. in the demonstration mm -hmm. so then uh, to 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 uh, to announce the, de the emergency decree okay. uh, is already like uh, to put uh, uh, more field mm -hmm. uh, into the fire yeah, so um, uh, of course, like uh, uh, easily uh, doing, just like uh, stop using it. <laughs> <laughs> you just mentioned the state of emergency, but the next question I want to ask, it, it might be something that the government doesn't really want to answer. How possible is, how, what would be the possibility that the martial law would be imposed or would there be another coup d'etat? To what extent that might <clears throat> go to this point? Uh, the thing is, like the coup d'etat, is never be has never been an answer uh, to any of the conflict situation. Uh, if we remember, if we just uh, get back uh, to the, uh, the past uh, seven years, uh, when uh, this this prime minister was the was the leader of the uh, what the military coup, uh, he claimed that because there were uh, several of uh, conflict, uh, political conflict issues and uh, the use of force uh, to stage the coup d'etat is one of the conflict resolution. Uh, seven years ago, I was trying to send a statement uh, to the leader of the coup d'etat that uh, uh, as a principle of uh, a, a theoretical of peace mm -hmm. that I have learned uh, for years, 
uh, there's no in any of my books uh, that at least I have read that uh, st uh, stating that uh, staging the coup d'etat is, is a peaceful uh, resolution. So then uh, maybe it, uh, seven days later, it has proof that uh, what he was trying to do by that time mm. uh, is not uh, anything close to the uh, res a peaceful resolution. Mm. So then the thing is like uh, up, up to this point, uh, I still insist that coup d'etat is not uh, the way to uh, uh, to solve like, the issue, to, to make the the, 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 the <laughs> issue solve. So then, uh, other thing else uh, uh, should be uh, reconsidered. Um, you know, uh, but you don't think the the military has learned any lesson at all? Uh, the the thing is, like uh, I I feel pity for mm. for the military and of course like the security personnel, mm. including the police the mm. forces right now that uh, they, they have so many chances to learn mm -hmm. for the mistakes that happened in the past. But the thing is, like, uh, I really, I, I know that uh, in, their, uh, in their toolbox, mm -hmm. uh, they have very limited uh, <laughs> instruments. Mm -hmm. uh, and then to use other kinds of instruments that they are not used to uh, uh, might uh, threat them a little bit, mm -hmm. you know, like uh, to, to use something that they are not used to uh, <laughs> might, might not feel, uh, make them secure. Mm -hmm. But the government is not only cracking down on the protesters, but they're also cracking down on the media. Yeah. What are your thoughts on this? <laughs> the thing is, like, uh, journalism is not a crime. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I was shocked uh, to, to learn the news this morning. And it's like, uh, this is going to be uh, a, a situation which is very, very close, uh, very, very close to a coup d'etat. Mm. <laughs> uh, uh, no matter what, but uh, it is too much already. Yeah. And then uh, I still insist that uh, the media should join hands uh, to, in, uh, to, how you call it, to, to, to insist that we are going to uh, do our work and uh, to report uh, the situation is, just, uh, is, a, is the main uh, task of the media. Yeah, but you know that in this age, there's no way you can clamp down on the media and shut up the media the way that you used to do. <laughs> that, that's past, right. right. That's right. You can you can just like uh, take the control of uh, all of this like uh, you know TV stations mm. and all that. But everyone could be the media themselves. Right. Yeah, yeah. You know, like uh, so then uh, they would not be able to close down anything. Oh, and then the thing is like uh, the worst uh, the worst thing is that when you close down uh, the mainstream media, mm. the thing is like uh, it's even more impossible to control. The yeah. accuracy of the true, news. So there then, be more disinformation, more fake news. That and went, everything. Went viral, and then, yeah, yeah, and then, viral, and, yeah. and then uh, when those kind of information, uh, which is actually unconfirmable, mm -hmm. unconfirmable uh, is circulated like a uh, viral, like that, so then uh, it's even worse for the, yeah. the government that they control anything. I, I don't know whether we can see this as the first round of victory for the protesters or not, because the prime minister today say that he supports a, mm -hmm. an extraordinary parliamentary session yeah. to debate way out for the crisis. <laughs> so. uh, the thing is like, uh, I, I, I actually I appreciate yeah. the role of the parliament mm -hmm. uh, in addressing the issue. But the thing is like, uh, at this point, uh, the thing is like, uh, I, I never believed that the prime minister uh, has any value, uh, the role of the parliament mm -hmm. at all. Uh, so then, uh, I I would love that the the, the parliament continues uh, solving. Uh, I mean, like uh, having the uh, extraordinary assembly uh, in order to 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 let the representatives of the people just discuss over this issue, and then of course uh, trying to, pro to to provide to produce any suggestions to whatever organization. Mm -hmm. But the government itself uh, needs to do something more. Than 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 uh, uh, encouraging the parliament to do the, their roles mm. because at least the, uh, the 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 prime minister and the government uh, and the cabinet uh, needs to really responsible for what have been done or what have happened in the past four or five days mm. uh, at at least in this point because like uh, we can obviously see that uh, uh, that, the, that 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 the government has made. Uh, several of uh, very uh, mistaken moves, yeah. so then uh, then they have to be responsible for those mistakes, mm -hmm. and then uh, we still didn't see any uh, attempt to responsible yeah. for that mm -hmm. yet. Uh, apart from not trying to take any responsible, 
the more attempt to uh, try to explain mm -hmm. by using very, very unlogical justification mm -hmm. that makes the situation even worse. Mm -hmm. You know, like uh, trying to just like trying to escape out yeah. of a small corner of uh, uh, of nowhere. So then, yeah. that's that's a kind of uh, uh, unacceptable mm -hmm. explanation. So then, uh, apart from uh, uh, the role of the parliament, yeah. the role of the government and the government officials mm -hmm. are also very important. I think many people don't have much faith in the the role of the parliament in this in this present context. Mm -hmm. Because the, the issue is quite obvious. It's black mm -hmm. and white in the eyes of only people. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, of course, the opposition certainly wants to hold the Prime Minister accountable for everything that has gone wrong in this country. Uh -huh. And uh, the people are afraid that this the decision will end up as being just another no confidence debate against the Prime uh -huh. Minister. <laughs> and he would do everything to defend himself against our charges. Uh, but the thing is, like, uh, apart from apart from uh, the number of the votes, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, another important role of the parliament, of the member of the parliament, is to clarify and try to speak out mm -hmm. uh, as a voice of people. Mm -hmm. So then uh, that's, uh, th that's another role. So then we can hear uh, a lot of information mm -hmm. uh, from the representatives yeah. mm -hmm. of the people. Mm -hmm. So that, that's an, also an, an important role, e even though uh, uh, the opposition might not be able to uh, gain the majority vote, but at least they have uh, a chance to voice out as a, represent a res representative of uh, a group of people. Maybe the, the, the target audience may not be the Prime Minister, but the public, right? Could be both of them. <laughs> <laughs> because the Prime Minister, I don't think he will, and, I mean, of course, we know what, what he stands for, right? Mm -hmm. And his stand on this issue has been very, but, but, but very steadfast. Thing, yeah, but, but the thing is, like, uh, I actually, I have uh, mentioned here several times that uh, I have heard more than 100 times uh, or maybe 1,000 times <laughs> that the Prime Minister said that uh, he wants to, uh, he he's in this position. Uh, he doesn't want to be in this position, but he is in this position because he loves this country and he wants to save this country. Mm -hmm. Maybe this is the time that he can satisfy himself, mm -hmm. not being in this position and save the country. Okay. All right. So, but final question. So, what what's next for the protesters? <laughs> uh, the the thing is like, uh, of course, like the, we can see the role of the parliament yeah. right now, and the thing is like the protester is even more. I, I mean, uh, the 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 demand from the protesters has been shifted, mm -hmm. right uh, from. Uh, stop the intimidation and you know uh, and of course like a, a draft of the new constitution and also like a, a start going for the new election yeah. right now one of the very important thing is just like uh, to ask for the prime minister to quit yeah so uh, maybe that's a solution mm -hmm. why not